Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So we've already established that um, that the uh, the area of a circle is proportional to the square of the radius. We've already established this, meaning that the relationship between the area of a circle, meaning the relationship between the area of a circle and the radius, is such that if you times this by two, then you times this by by uh, by 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 four. Uh, if if you mean meaning that here here the radius is r. If you double the if you double the radius, we've already established this. If you double the radius, now it's now it's two r. Uh, if you double the radius, then then the area will be multiplied by by four. So this the area of the new circle here will be four times the area of this circle. So so the relationship between area of a circle and the radius is such that area is proportional to the square of the radius. So, uh, so if you times this by two, then you times this by by uh, by by four. If you times this by three, then you times this by uh, by three square. You, you would times the area by by nine. So we've already established this. But my question is, what should I do to the radius? What should I multiply the radius by in order to just double the area? You see, if if I if I double the radius, if I times the radius by two, then I'm going to increase the well, I'm gonna the area will be multiplied by four. But I I, I just want to double the the area. I just want to create an area where it's twice as big as before. What should I do? What should I do to the radius in order to create an area that is twice bigger than uh, than this? So if you think about it, if if you times this by two, if you times the radius by two. Then the area will be multiplied by four. The area will be multiplied by four. Um, but I, I just want to double the area. If if I times the radius by one, if I times the radius by by one, then it's not going to do anything. So if I times this by two, then the area will be multiplied by four. If I times it by one, then then it's going to stay the same. Um, it's going to stay the same. So the the answer must lie somewhere between one and two. So, so we, we, we've got to multiply the radius here by, by a mystery number where, where this mystery number here is, is between 1 and 2. Well, anyway, what should I do to the radius in order to double the area? So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, you, you, you create two circles. So, so currently, this is our circle, and the area of this circle is, uh, is this. The area of this current circle is pi r squared. That's, that's the area of this circle. So we want to find a, a, a new radius such that it will give us an, an area of 2a. So we, we are searching for, we are searching for a value here, a value of x here such that it will give us, uh, a, a, an area of 2a. So, uh, so we are searching for this x here such that the area will be 2a. So, so the area here is a. We want it twice. So, so the area here will be two a. We, we are searching. We are trying to search for a value of x such that it will give us an area of two a. So now, if 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 this is the area of a, of our current circle, we will put this into the into the a here. So that would then be uh, two pi r squared because you you put the whole thing here into the a here. So this two here is here, and then uh, the a here is actually pi r squared okay and then and then over here uh it's uh, it stays the same so so we are really searching for a value of x here this value of x here such that um it will give us an area of 2a here so so now divide both sides by by uh by by pi so that will give us 2 r squared equals uh equals x squared so now square root both sides because we, because we are trying to search for a value of x here such that it will give us twice the area. We are trying to get, we are trying to work out the value of x here. So, so square root both sides, that will then give us this. 2, uh, uh, and then that will then give us this. And now, uh, from our section on in indices, remember, remember this. Um, that's the same as uh, root a times root b. So, so imagine this as being one block. And then you've got another block here. So, so, so use, use this. So that would then be square root of two. So that's like one block. And then square root of r squared. That's another block. So, um, so now this thing here, square root of r squared is just r. 
uh, it's just R, and then this thing here is root 2. So you can see that um, to, to, to obtain our new radius, to obtain our new radius, we should multiply the old radius, we should multiply the old radius by the square root of 2. So we should multiply the radius by by the square by square root of two. So so if if you if you multiply this radius by square root of two, then uh, then then it will give you an area that is twice as big as this. So uh, so let's let's test it out. Let's test it out. So now now let so so we've already established that if you if you multiply if you multiply the radius by uh, by if you multiply this radius by square root of two, then then it will give you twice the area. So let's test it out. Let's say currently we've got a circle here of radius two. So the area of this circle will be uh, a equals pi r squared. Put the two into here. So so currently the, the area of this circle will be will be put the two into there. Hang on. So that will be four pi. So the area of this circle here is four, four pi. So now remember we've we've already established that um, that if you if you multiply the radius by by square root of two by the square root of two then uh, then it will give you twice the area. So let's so this this radius here will be two times the square root of two. So that will be that will be root two. Well that that will be a block of two times a block of root two. So we would just write as this. We would just write as two root two. So, so, so this is our new radius now. So let's let's try and work out the area of this circle now. So the area is uh, a equals pi r squared, but the but the radius of this circle is is uh, is two root two root two. So you would put this into the r here. So that would be pi and then uh, two root two squared. So uh, so that's the area of the big circle. So let's tidy this up. So you've got this thing multiplied by itself. So that will be uh, that will be uh, that will be two root two times two root two. So so if you think about it, if you th if you look at this bit here, you've got a block of two times a block of root two, and then times a block of two because that's this bit here, uh, and then times a block of root two. So that's this bit here. So basically, the, you, you've got these they're all multiplying together they're all multiplying together so so you've got this thing multiplying with this thing they're all being multiplied together so this merger with this that will then give you a block of four and then this square root of two times square root of two uh, that would be two square root of two so so square root of two times the square root of two so I me giving you this squared when you square square root they, they cancel each other out Leaving you a two, so uh, so this whole thing, so it's basically boils down to four times two, which will be eight. So so this whole thing here will be eight, and you've got your pi here, so it will be eight pi. So the area, so the area of this big circle here, the area of this big circle here is eight pi. So the area of this big circle here is eight pi. The area of this one here was uh, was four pi. So you can see that. Here, if you get this times by two, see, see, you can see that the area here has has doubled. So, um, so, so, so the answer to the question is, um, if you want to double the, uh, if you want to double the, uh, if you want to double the area, you should multiply the radius by by uh, square root of two. Okay.